What is up YouTube, it's your boy Greasy, and today we're going to be going over how to play Habana, a guide here for you in Rainbow Six Siege. And so we loaded in here on the map of Clubhouse. Um, so I just want to go over a few things as well for you, because when you first bring Habana, if you're going to play her, she's actually a very, very strong operator. Uh, but your role when you play, you want to remember your hard breach. So you're playing kind of like you would if you are going to play Thermite. Um, but it can be a little different because a lot of times you'll bring Habana along with Thermite Depending on the map you're on especially like a map like this on Clubhouse You want to bring him um, either Thermite along with Habana or Ace You always want Habana on this map. You're always gonna want her um, Unless maybe you get him banned so you can bring like say if there's a Thatcher ban You can bring Maverick Habana um, or you can bring Ace Habana Or even just like Maverick Ace or Thermite Ace if you really need to um, but you really want to bring Habana if you can, if she's available, because she is very strong on this map. Because um, you're really worried about getting hatches a lot of the time, is the majority of the idea. Um, or you're trying to open up lines of sight for your team to have advantages on. So one of those areas is when you first load in, into the game and you're playing, majority of the time they're either going to start off downstairs in the armory and church site, or they're going to be upstairs over here in cash and cctv so we'll start we'll kind of start over here with the cash cctv side and we'll go over this for you because uh, a lot of times over here what you can do to help is say they maybe do have a thatcher ban because that's usually a very common ban on this map a thatcher ban um or maybe if there's just a maverick ban what you can do is if say there is a thatcher maverick ban you really want to start off though if you're going to help your thermite to try and get this wall if you really need to because a lot of times they might have a bandit tricker. So what you can do is a lot of times say there is the Maverick bands. You just got to bring Thatcher. Once Thatcher hits the wall, you can shoot your Habana pellets right at the middle of the wall. I don't know why I don't have the outline. Usually there's a square right there. You can sl slightly see that little red square. There's an X and then the square. You want to shoot your Habana pellets though right in the middle of the wall. Because there'll be one wall right here. There'll be one wall right here. So if you shoot it right in the middle... You can put it low, usually maybe a little above. That way you'll hit it right in the middle. And at that point, it's going to make it so one of these walls isn't going to be tricked. So it's going to be open. So say he's over on this wall. He's trying to trick it. You trick it. And as you get the thatcher, you hit it. And now what it's going to do is make sure one of these sides of the wall gets off. So say maybe he tricks this side of the wall. But what happened is now you have this side open because he only tricked two pellets. So that way you can have this to help you out. You can either shoot out the bandits if you need to. If he ends up being there, you have a good line of sight. And that way you can help make sure you always do get one of the walls. Um, so a lot of times you usually want to go for the left wall if you're able to. Um, but getting one of the walls is always helpful. Then at that point you always can just go to get make sure you do get the left wall open as well. Because from there what you can have your thermite do is upside down repel. If I can get a good angle. Let's see if I can get there you go. Upside down, but then you can put it on the wall, and then you'll have this wall wide open. Uh, but that'll be helpful if you need to, if you need to do that. That's one trick you can do with Habana, is shoot in the middle. That way you'll always make sure you have one of the walls gets opened. Then you can get the rest of it as you go. But on this map, another good way is to help your team clear garage. Is you can come over here and say maybe you need to, if you want to open up a side of the wall here, you can open up a little spot here. You can put one there, one right below it, and then you can open a little walkway. Or you'll see a lot of teams, especially if you watch Pro League, they'll open up over here. Because that way if they open up this side, over here, what it does is it makes it so it's more covered to help take garage. But once you do this, it'll blow open. And then you can crawl in, you'll shoot the camera out, and then you can help your team push garage. Because now they're not just worried about someone being over there to open that up see we have that open and that way this the defense isn't worried about somebody being over there only they have to worry about you being underneath here as well so normally what I do here is I would bring flashes so I can help my team a little bit more um, that way you can flash up over the top um, or if you have maybe a capital with you which is another good opera to have with you have them bring capital or just have someone bring flashes that way they can help you throw them up over but then you can help by watching if they try to push because you can sit underneath you have a good angle to watch if they try to push back into sight um, or you can stay right underneath here and help push back that way if he starts pushing he can try and 
either flame him off if he wants to or throw a nice flashbang up there and then you can help your team push out the guy that could be playing rafters or even if they just don't have a rotate at that point and they give you perfect let them give it to you then you can bring your breaching charges which i almost always run breaching charges on abana it really depends on the map but 90 percent of the time i'm gonna have breaching charges and then you can just walk over put on the wall open it up and help your team go to push in for a default plant which will be normally right here normally is the bomb so you'll walk up and you'll plant just right here because the bomb sits about right there and you'll plant up against it this is the default plant it's almost always the most common place people try to plant um, but that's a couple ways you can do it i'll reload in here and i'll make sure we get another couple ways of how you can go over getting rid of like hatches on this side as well on this map uh, but this is the best way to really take and help your team you could even just do this say if your team's confident they can get the wall with just a thermite thatcher or if they have maverick that way you're not worried about having one of your Habana you have to be used up there. So that way you can bring all three with you. You can just open up the two here, get into sight. And then if you guys are able to take garage, you get it successful. You can even shoot out part of the garage if you need to. Or open up the hole a little bit wider. That way it can be a running hole. So you can just keep your Habana pellets if you want to to help make it a little bit easier as you go. Um, but I'll jump in another round real quick here and we can go over a little bit more of how we can go about this map with Habana. All right, now here we are loaded back in on the map. And so we'll go over the next site, which is another good spot to bring her, was if they go downstairs in Armory and the Church site. So if they go downstairs in Armory and Church, um, your main goal, again, is just make sure you play Hard Breach and you want to stay alive as long as you're possible. Um, or just to make sure you get your job done. Because with Rainbow Six Siege, a lot of people kind of get carried away trying to get too frag heavy, trying to go out for kills, or just maybe do too much. Um, a lot of times you really want to stick to your job or make sure you're getting your job done before you start trying to do everything else. So with a bottom, a lot of times what you want to do is make sure you want to have two hatches that are very important to get. So you really want to make sure you get those hatches. Um, there is a third hatch you can maybe get as well, um, but it's not always necessary. And they may not even reinforce it. So you don't have to worry about having a bottom necessarily for that. So a lot of times what we do is we'll have a th our thermite again because you're going to be on this map. You bring your thermite. But you want to have someone drone you in here. Make sure it's clear. Have someone drone out. Maybe have an IQ as well to watch down here so there's no pulse. Um, but once you get this cleared out, your goal is to come in here and you want to get this hatch right here. This hatch you really want to get. And you want to open that up because what that's going to do is open up right above sight. And it's going to make it very hard for them to want to stay and play down here. Or it's going to make it so you have more coverage you can have. So once you get them moved out or you can bring your breaching charges in here, you can start blowing up parts of the site. And that way you can start getting them to clear out of this back area. So you'll come in here. You'll first want to get the hatch. Sometimes you can open up the window right here. And then you can upside down repel and do the same thing. So this is normally how I do it also. So if I'm worried about a pulse being down there underneath, like if I'm solo queuing or we're in a duo queue, and or maybe it's not the most coordinated at the time, or the rest of the team is maybe doing their own thing, we're still doing it well. I'll bring Habana, and I'll just do this upside down repel, and then I'll shoot in, hit the hatch, get it open, and then I don't have to worry about being c would from below by maybe a Pulse, or a Valk, or anything else that could possibly happen when I'm trying to move in through the freezer door. I can just upside down repel, get the hatch, and then I can move on to getting the next ones. A lot of times from there, you'll come over here, and you want to get this hatch now as well. This will be the next important thing you want to get is moto hatch. Okay, so they call it moto hatch because down below it there's like a motorcycle up against the wall and a few other things. So they call it moto. It's a very common call. You'll hear it a lot of times if you watch Pro League or any CL player, just any streamers that are playing that are especially a little higher rank. That's the most common call and be called moto. You want to get this hatch as well. And then from there, the next one you're trying to go for is this one. So this can be kind of a last resort or maybe your first, depending on how your team plays. Um, but this can be a last one, especially if you're newer to the game or if you're maybe in gold, uh, high silver, low plat. This will be one you can not have to totally worry about because a lot of times teams don't even reinforce that, I've noticed. It's kind of hit and miss. It's like a 50-50 shot. They might reinforce it. But you want to make sure you get these two hatches open first you want to get moto and you want to get kitchen because that way you can have a little more control so at this point you'll have, be able to have someone watch this they can watch this doorway so anyone swings and that way you can also get your thermite 
to go down main stairs at this point and push in down here so they can get church wall. Because you're trying to get thermite to open this wall up now. So they can open up either this side or they'll go for this side a lot of times. It depends on how you want to play it. But you want to have moto hatch open. That way you can cover that. So that way no one is trying to swing them wide if they're playing down in here. So you can cover that. So that way no one's in here trying to maybe swing, come around and kill your thermite. That way you're here to watch them. So this will, have, this will be a very unplayable area of the map at this point once you open that up. Because they have to worry about you from there. Um, and also you don't have to worry about having all six of Bonnet pellets hit it when you shoot it at the hatches. I believe on a reinforced hatch it only takes four pellets. So maybe if you miss a little bit or if maybe they try it underneath here in kitchen a lot of times. You'll see teams put holes right here. And they'll put holes right here. That way they can try and impact it. So a lot of times you want to try and look for that as well before, when you are trying to get rid of the hatch. Is look to see where the holes are. So maybe they only do one side. Like they only do holes there. Or they only do holes here. So if they only do the holes right here. Try shooting the Habana pellet closer to this side of the hatch. That way if it does go off. You have a possibility of only getting maybe one or two of the pellets. And then it can still blow up the hatch. So you always want to kind of look out for that. And then the same thing here, if it's holes on this side, you want to go over here and put them as close to this edge as you can. That way you have the better chance of only getting one or two of the pellets possibly. And then you can still open the hatch. So you want to look out for that as well. A lot of times they will try to impact it. Um, it's not as common in silver gold ranks that I noticed or even low plat. Once you get into the higher plat three, plat two and up, teams will start to make sure they do have that chance if they don't bring a cade. Or if they have it, they'll have it on top of it to make sure they can protect that. Um, you want to make sure you can get that set up as well. And then from there, what you can do is, you if you say you only use the two bonnet pellets to get that hatch and the kitchen hatch, you can also save yours now. So if you want to have your thermite come over here and get the hat or get the, you can cause a distraction by putting them on one of these, say maybe over here. So if your thermite wants to get this wall, you can just put them right here, and then you can cause a distraction. While your thermite goes over here, sets it up, and goes. Because once you do that, once you start those set off, whoever's trying to maybe play in here, comfortable, they're not going to want to sit there. Because they're going to see those start going off. And either they're going to try and tuck up in here, and then your thermite's going to blow them up at that point. And they've, or if they're going to try and run away, and you're going to have an easy kill. Or they're just going to get out of there, and then they're going to be stuck trying to either play right here, or maybe they're going to push over here. And at that point, you're probably going to have someone already dropped. So you're going to have an easy kill on the person that's trying to sit and play on this bar. Um, that's going to maybe do it by how we're going to play Habana. There's a few other tricks you can play, but as you get more into it, you'll kind of learn some of the tricks you can do with Habana um, or other things. You, but you really want to make sure you focus on you're going to be a hatch player or opening lines of sight. Um, or maybe if you just bring him, bring Habana, no one brings like a thatch or a thermite or ace you can open up still by stacking them and when you do that you want to make sure you put it right on top of each other so like where that hole is you see that you can put it really right there so the corners look like they're going to be in the hole but they won't you can put it right above where that hole is and then they're going to hit right here 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 and they're like be like this and it's going to blow up just another hole that same size so they're probably going to be a little wider so it'll probably be like right there 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 and there and then it'll do the same thing it'll blow a hole open the same width but that way you can make sure you have it connected so it blows out the entire area because if you leave a little gap in between so like say maybe you put the habana pellets ended up putting them a little higher like right above that this little like smoke line so you put it right there above it it possibly could make it so you end up having this little line that stays right here and then you can't go through that so you want to make sure you really watch how you place your Habana pellets as well. So you want to make sure if you're going to stack them, you want to put them pretty much right on top of each other. And you're going to think you're close. Like if you do this and those corners are like right there, you think that's going to be good. And make sure because if they're touching, you're okay. That'll make sure you still get a good size hole out of it. So you can get through it. You don't want to have it possibly end up being just a little too high. Then get stuck with that little bar. And then you can't use the hole at all. Um, so make sure you pay attention to that. Um, but remember, you're just trying to get hatches and then opening up lines of sight. There's a few places you can put open up long lines. So I play hollow, so I'm not going to open up very many long lines of sight. 
like on chalet you can open up from big garage looking into wine um, I might bring a cog at that point to do that to hold it but usually I'm gonna bring hollow so I'm trying to just open up lines of sight they're gonna be easy to use for my teammates um, or that I can come and play with a little bit closer instead of trying to sit back way over here and then trying to play someone over by the jukebox uh, that should do there if you have any maps you want me to go over maybe show you some other maps to go over some other hatches you want to get um, or maybe some tricks like on coastline there's a really cool bond trick you can use if you don't look up like coconut bra or macy j on youtube as well um, but i'll go over this for you i'll put some clips at the end of playing habana and some other cool clips i have but keep with the next time drop a like and subscribe down below if you aren't already leave me a comment and keep with the next time boys keep it easy keep it breezy it's your boy greasy and i'm out okay <laughs>